Hi, we're back with um, the Van Gogh's uh, Cherry Blossoms in a Vase Part 2, and we're almost done. So um, really, all we have to do is um, we're going to sign our names, and then we have to finish these little blossoms up here. So I'm going to pull it super close so that you can see what I'm doing here. And um, the only colors that I'm going to use next are um, kind of a yellow-green. Let me just show you. I'm going to make a yellow-green here. Green with a tad of yellow in it. Um, we're going to use that burgundy that we have. So this green actually pulled over and mixed up with that. We'll make that burgundy again. Kind of a wine color. And um, bright yellow. So those are the only colors I'm using. I might as well use my burgundy as long as I've got it on my brush. And um, I like everything else happening here. So if you want to come a little closer, here you are, all right. And we're going to just walk through where I'm going to put the burgundy first. <clears throat> so we just go through and put in all these little things. Um, I switched to a smaller brush, as you can see. See this brush? It's a really teeny, teeny one. And um, all I have to do is little teeny spots. So I figured this would probably work better than that bigger one than trying to maneuver that, especially on camera. So. Um, you're welcome to do that as well. So I'm gonna outline the outside of this. So these brush strokes are just really super choppy. I'm going through the middle. That one was a little wet, so it picked up some white. I'm not sure I like the white, but you know, some of these have some, uh, cherry blossoms have a lot of pink in them when they open, but until they open that, <clears throat> that it's kind of burgundy, isn't it? So I'm gonna bring some in here. Maybe um, at the bottom of this guy, I see some. So I'm going off of what I painted before, and um, that may or may not be the best res resource. If you are pulling up the original online, you may see different things, which is okay. You can put in all the things you see and follow along what I'm doing. So all of a sudden we just have, we, um, we, it's amazing how just a couple little touches will change, change it up so much. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it always amazes me. When I, when I took, um, one of the art courses I took was with this woman who is a um, portrait artist and she would come along and I'd have this portrait going on and she would come along and just, one or two little teeny little spots here and there, and it would change the whole thing. It would all of a sudden look like a person or, or, or highlight or, it was like amazing. And it's really true that when you have just a touch here and there, um, it, uh, it does change it. I have some drips going on, I didn't notice. Okay, there we go. So there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of burgundy over in here, maybe a teeny bit. I'm going to add a little bit of a flower right in there. Okay, yeah, like that better. So not much burgundy at all. I might, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick up some black, show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna pick up some black and add it to this edge of the burgundy because I want a really, really dark, as long as I've got this little brush going on. I want a really, really dark brown on some of these areas, like right in here. I want it darker. And under here, I want it darker. Um, widening the branch there. I want under there, I want it darker and more brown on the top, maybe. And um, let's see, how about where this knob joins that one, it's kind of, and then this guy up in here. See how that just, that just changed it, didn't it? A little bit more on this one, this over here, because I like the brown up that we got on there, but I wanted it a little bit more deeper and then this needs help
There you go, and it's gonna go all the way up into there, this dark part. Just got really thick. But I think, um, am I okay with that? Yeah, because we're gonna put in some greens in here. Looks a little funky now, but it'll be all right. And then maybe I gotta tie this in, so I'm gonna put a tiny bit of this down in here. Just a teeny bit of speck here and there. There's, most of it's got the water over it. There, so cleaning off my little bitty brush. I want to come in now with the yellows on some of, so I'm just picking up straight yellow and um, I'm going to tap out some of these things here. Um, just scribbling. That's all I'm doing, just laying down little bits of, little bits of color here and there. It's so fun. Um, out on this end, there's some, some in here. Okay, so this one. So some of the time I just lay my brush down and I scribble. Sometimes I put it down straight. Now that white should not be there. I'm gonna have to fix that because this is behind, not in front of. There's some yellow in this area. Some down in here. Oh, we picked up a little bit of that green, didn't we? Well, that's the color that's gonna happen later, so we'll use that later on there. Um, how are we doing otherwise? I think what I'm gonna do is take some of this yellow over here by my white, get some white yellow, and I'm gonna highlight a little bit of something in here. Just, so I've got like the light and the dark going on. That helped, didn't it? I mean, all of it helps, all of it adds two makes it one step better one step more exciting now on that painting back there the branch has a ton of green on it so i'm going to use my yellow green right now and um go through the branch as well i'm going to do the top side of the branch this time so the other side has a shadow and it's just on this area. Hopefully my hand isn't in the way. Just on that area so that we can get, so I'll show you what I just did. So we've got the dark brown, we've got the yellow, we've got the tan that we started with, we've got the screen in here. So all of a sudden it makes a lot of, um, it looks like you put a ton of work in there and you just did a few little things. So that yellow green is gonna go in a bunch of different places. Let's start back down here. Um, do we have anything? Not really. Okay, right in there, maybe. That burgundy, okay, a little bit there, that's good. And some up here. Laying it down in there. <clears throat> Greenish yellow, I just mixed a little bit of, um, yellow in with some green. And I'm gonna smudge that out because I'm not sure what's happening there. <laughs> so I just didn't want it to be too obvious. And then in here we're gonna have um, the top of that brown so that, I don't know what's going on in there either, but you know what, when you look at it from far away, it's like, oh, that's odd, but it's part of the, part of the, part of the tree there. I'm gonna pick up a teeny bit of brown right now and bring it through kind of, so, trying to make some sense out of it. And um, it doesn't seem to be a lot of green there, but over here we're gonna do this kind of green. And the bottom, oh, we had a lot of brown down in here that we didn't even get at. Oh my gosh, look at that, I forgot, I didn't, I missed all that. Okay, do some greens. And this one has green on the bottom. That's what's happening. Also, I just saw a teeny bit of blue, light blue. So I'm just gonna pick up a hair of light blue here, just a hair, <laughs> and put it in there. Maybe some in here, it's a little bit dark, that's all right. And then some in there. And then some out in here on this one. 
Very colorful, aren't they? They're so pretty. All right, <clears throat> so here comes my dark brown again because we forgot to go all the way out on this branch to there. More burgundy than brown. Don't want the drippies. I'm gonna just take that off because it got too burgundy. Got too burgundy on me. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna add a little more black in. Too much black. Be nice if all the stuff was all mixed up right now. Huh? So there it is. All right, now it's the right color. And I'm adding this here. And we're going to go all the way out here. And these are going to have brown stuff coming up to them. That one is a white and it's white. All right, can you see what's happening there? It's super fun. So I told you I was gonna fix that one white spot. It should, oh yeah, no, that was right there. I'm gonna fix this one white spot. Oh, I threw a little pink in there, it's okay. I'm gonna fix the sky a little bit more. So I think there was a white one back in here too, one that I forgot. <clears throat> and I wanted to pick up some more brown. That's what I was going to do. Pick up some more brown to go through here because we didn't really want that on top of where it's sort of behind and around. All right. I think, I think we're done. What do you think? We just did that one here. Isn't that fun? So, um, uh, yeah. We're gonna have more Van Gogh. We're gonna do a Monet. Um, and um, then after we're done with our, our, our um, the beginner's art class, we'll pick up some other, um, you know, we'll do a couple more beginner classes and then a harder art class, however I decide to go. <laughs> anyway, but um, I hope you had fun doing this Van Gogh. I think it was awesome. So make sure you sign your name. So, signature. Let's talk about that. You don't want it? You don't want it real obvious down there. I know Vincent put his, you know, like kind of obvious all over his. But if you want to stay subtle, I would just recommend something off, um, just a little off white or even yellow. And I just signed my first initial C and then my last name, which is hard to write out, with a brush. So you can use a Sharpie if you want, um, if you got it in the right color. <clears throat> but you don't want it real obvious down here. There you go. And sometimes I put a, the sometimes I put the um, year that I painted it down on there. But come up with your signature because you're going to be practicing painting, and you know when you die, they may sell all these, and you're, they'd be like, "That girl was really, really good," and you never um, sold anything while you're alive. That's what happened to Vincent Van Gogh. Never sold a thing when he was alive. His brother was an art dealer too, but he was he was doing a style that wasn't really common or, or popular at the time. So poor guy. But anyway. He has some famous, awesome paintings. Look up some of his works. I love his stuff. And it's really easy to replicate because his brush strokes are real choppy. And so you don't have to be, you know, it's like some of those Rembrandts and stuff are like realism. Like the face looks like you can touch it, like it's made of flesh and it's paint. So I'm not into that because I, I'm like, that's, a, that's really hard to do. But um, replicating one of these, I, I, I love it. So anyway, I hope you have a good week. And we'll see you again real, real soon. Um, and this is Chris Glatzel, Healing Heart Workshops and Chris Glatzel Art. Have a good day. Bye.